This is an episode that's going to be replete with meaty delicacies from the street. So join us to savor some special Ramzan fare here in Namma, Bengaluru. Let's go. Oh my, madan chicken, madan, madan, patar. You know, the moment I raise that spoon of the Halim, what greets you first is the aroma of the brista. Like you see, it's just falling off the bone. Wonderful. That is very important. I know this is going to be a soft, juicy morsel that's perched like a meaty iceberg. Definitely. Huh? We'll see Atop the that stalk. Everything is chicken. Yeah. So you're a chicken specialist. Yeah, you can. No, we are Mumbai special. Hi, folks. This is Kripal Amana, Gourmet on the Road, and you're watching Food Lovers TV. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and strong. We are on Mosque Road in the heart of Bengaluru, and we've come here to savor some of the Ramazan specialities for this year. This is an episode that's going to be replete with meaty delicacies from the street. So join us to savor some special Ramzan fare here in Namma, Bengaluru. Let's go. Thank you. Happy Thank eating. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. How are you, Chef? Good, good, good. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm really looking forward to this. Definitely, even I'm looking forward to take it around. Try some delicacies of the holy month of Ramzan. And this is the main street and it's known in Bangalore for the food. When you're exploring something like this, you want to walk with somebody who knows the food. You want to walk with somebody who has inside info. And we've got just the right person for the job. I'm with my friend, Chef Fasiullah, who's very familiar with what happens here. He's of course also a chef, a chef trainer. In fact, you will very shortly, or you may have already seen a vlog on his culinary academy on the Kripalamana Vlogs channel. But for today, he's going to be a mentor, a guide, <laughs> as we discover the delicious delicacies of Ramazan, the holy month of Ramazan, here on Mosque Street. Mosque Street. It is uh, one of the most iconic food uh, walks, uh, food streets during the month of Ramzan. Okay. Other than this, smaller ones are there. Pockets are Shivajinagar and uh, City Market. But this is the most, this is the most popular, popular happening. among happening there. And uh, in spite of we uh, also having a lot of popular uh, restaurants who have been established restaurants or running restaurants putting up their stalls. We also have small small people and eateries putting up their stalls from various parts of Bangalore. If you don't mind, we are great fans of yours. We can take a picture. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. See you. So, where did you start? We are now here at the famous Taj Chichabas. Taj Chichabas. And uh, we have the second generation, third generation of Taj Chichabas. Saad. Your name is Saad. 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 Wonderful. So, we have eaten Chichabas in Chichabas. We have eaten it inside. We have eaten it inside. We have eaten it inside. But the outside of it, we have eaten it inside. Of course. Uh, so, what are the one or two things that we should try? I and think a big thing out here, an important thing for us is to also pace what we eat, right? Yeah, yeah. So what are the two things that we should definitely taste here? So what I think uh, Ramzan mein hi banta hai, to halim to khana hi. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, mutton halim hai? Mutton, that's chicken. I think they serve only chicken and mutton over here. Only two meats. I think mutton try karna hai, na? If you do the halim. How many hours do you have to eat? Mutton is gotten on the previous night and we leave it on wood fire overnight. The mutton? And we use only boneless meat for the halim. So the mutton is left overnight to cook? Yes. Dump it and leave it on the floor. So when you come in the morning, it's all separate? It's all broken down. Okay, and then? Masala is added, the rava, the wheat is added. And then the goat neck. Fantastic. Very nice. I think uh, 
यू नो द मोमेंट आई रेज दैट स्पून ऑफ द हलीम पहले जो आपको वॉट ग्रीट्स यू फर्स्ट इज द अरोम ऑफ द ब्रिस्ता फ्राइड हलीम राइट इवन बिफोर यू प्लेस दैट हलीम इन योर माउथ आपके मुंह में ऑलरेडी पानी आ रहा है and see you know this is the main thing what you look into halim and you is this resha what who comes up no this is resha that is important that is very important because the meat has shredded properly ah. even the wheat acts acts as a texture on the you know what i'm also tasting in this halim apart from the fact that i can of course taste the flavor of the onions i'm tasting somewhere there was a drop of the lemon, lemon. that wasn't wo gul nahi gaya tha that hadn't mixed completely into the halim so i tasted a bit of the sting of the lime there but what i'm really tasting here is a meatiness the wheat etc yeah, i think gives it a slight that's right that's why so for every 5 kg of meat is 1 kg of rava ah to so rava wo dalia wo hi hai dalia ah, dalia yes. broken wheat broken wheat and what's also nice is jo rogan hai isme yeah. that rogan also lengthens the flavors on your tongue yeah. because that rogan has cooked yeah, with all the so spices that's that main that's the main thing actually with that's right with the spices that's right the whole masala garam masala and the that's right and by the time the rogan rises to the top of that dig it has carried with itself all the flavors Definitely. all the essential oils of the spices that that meat has been cooked yeah, in maza aa gaya isme thoda aur brista milega hame aur thoda fried onion ha One is I love the onion for its flavors, but the other thing that you also looking for is a bit of that textural break. Break, crunch. Ha. Huh. That also that and sweetness cut off from the mm. other flavor also. This is a halim which is a little delicate. Very delicate. Zara spice nahi yeah, hai. Yeah, not spicy. I but I think that's the thing spicy. with a halim now. So you have something then you can garnish it to yeah, how you like how it. You like it. Agar aapko zara spice chahiye to zara chili dalo. Right chili. If you want a little more onion, to thoda onion dalo. Dalo. Mint, more, lime. Mint, lime. उतना भी नहीं डालो कि दैट दैट यू लूज द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ़ द मीट मोर ऑफ़ अ गार्निश ऑन टॉप ऑफ़ इट एंड एंड बट द द द मेन डिश बाप इज़ आई थिंक वी मेड अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट ऑलरेडी यर एट चीचाबाज ताज ऑन मॉस्क रोड तो सेकंड डिश क्या ट्राई करें यहाँ पे वॉट इज मारक मीन Marak basically it's a Hyderabadi dish, okay, and uh, basically it's served during weddings and ah. all that. And it's a basically a strong broth of mutton. Usually, uh, gelatinous parts are used, like the neck, the ah. nalli, and all that, boiled overnight with only just sliced onions and a special potli masala. This potli masala also has a special root. It is vitayar roots. Mm. You can. That is the khas. Khas. Khas ah. kajar. And it is basically the thickening is the cream and little bit of cashew nut paste. And you see on top a lot of coriander and mint goes into it. Wonderful. Let's start. 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 Let definitely uh, you will see the top that stock how is it good there's a bit of sourness and i taste of some dairy in this yeah because of the cream mm. they use the khatai and also few people what they do is they add some butter safed butter also they add ye dikhne mein halka hai ha लेकिन जब बैठता है आपके जबान पर जी काफी भारी भरकम है ये भारी भरकम इसलिए आता है आई थिंक इसमें पोटली मसाला है ना जो इसमें कोई भी कुटा हुआ मसाला नहीं जाता सब साबुत मसाले ऑल और स्पाइसेस पोटली मनी मसाला इज वेरी यूनिक टू हैदराबादी कुकिंग इट्स इंडियन बुके नली I think sometimes you just have to go in with your hands. Is to be got to be mindful of the tiny pieces of bone yeah, that yeah. seem to splinter away. But otherwise, 
it's basically the meat and some of the collagen that's binding yeah. it together also that also adds a lot of flavor definitely for the mm. stock that's why you use uh, pieces which have a lot of collagen in it that's mm. the thing with paya also do you that. normally make it every yeah, day yeah we make it every day we can make it every day. all right so when you come here definitely try it something new that i haven't tasted before I think the flavors are quite akin to us too. That's the sort of flavors that you're tasting with a bit of that potli masala. Potli masala, halka, hai. halka hai. But yeah, I think this part of the stew and it's a more combination because see, our Ramzan especially it is about more about energy food because you're opening your fart. Well, I thought after tasting the hali man the marat. Correct. I thought we would bid adieu to Chicha Pass, but I saw two things. Actually, I saw one thing, which was this. Uh, Very interesting. This is a uh, the pal. The pal, also called takata, also the called jigri. Also, its the base is basically onions and coriander Wonder and green chilies and pepper. This has usually liver and some kidneys, mutton liver and ah. kidneys. Usually, you can add lamb chops, chicken, uh, or mince. Whatever you want. Whatever you can add. And then, of course, we also saw some sikh garma garam. So we said we should try it. I think. Yeah. So try with the sheik. Yeah. Try with the sheik. This is a mutton sheik here again. Right? Mutton. मैं थोड़ा सा हल्का सा नमक थोड़ा up है. Up है. But I think when you're tasting a sheik kebab, you should taste it always. Just a few minutes after it has come, come out, come out. Salia. Ah. Salia. Because the fat is still molten. When the fat is molten, the moment you bite into that sheik. and that's the reason why you appreciate it so much all that fat immediately permeates to every pore of pore your of tongue. tongue i think it's made thoda wo jo tikka mix the red chili you can definitely feel a bit of that but i think yeah. that's also what the locals want right yes and the other aspect also i think people like their food to look bright yeah personally so, if you ask me i would have liked it without the color without that bright red color but then well when in rome yeah. that's it Yeah, there is a keema and there is a this one. Pao me kya? Butter dala apne? Huh? Makhan. Makhan. I am quite eager to taste that pal. I think I already got a piece of the liver. Mm. Kaleji. Kaleji. Bit of the grittiness that I am tasting. Yeah. In that liver. Liver is yeah, this little bit. Isko bal ke dalte hai, ispe tawe pe hi bunte hai isko. Hmm. Tawe pe dalte. Let's taste it now with that keema. different things mm. i think this is more of a green masala and isme tomato bhi hoga tomato bhi hoga isme pyaaz i quite like the masala the, the masala this is the masala is the very base of the thing this is called the phal and mm. if it is sukhi phal it is only with the dry masala which is fried on the tawa ah so it variation changes wonderful and of course the fact that the bread is buttered like you know <laughs> my Very cliched line. Butter makes everything good. Better. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, where are you from, Aaron? I'm from Austin Town. Austin Town. Town. You watch my show? Yes. Hey, Barab. How are you doing? Come to say hi to me. Yeah. Bye. Hi, Aaron. What's your name? Hi. What is this? Kobi the. Kobi the. Well, we were just about to leave. <laughs> And Saad said you have to taste the kobi there. So here, pe, I think we should run away from here. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, we'll only be tasting everything out here. Very juicy. Very nice. ये क्या है? Chicken is. That is mutton. Very smoky. Very juicy. Okay. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Well, that took some time out there. We thought we'll do one or two dishes, but I think we tasted yeah, about I four think... dishes. 
But I think my favorite was the marak. That is something that I had never, never tasted, tasted before, and also the halim was very special. I yeah, think. I think the halim and uh, for me the uh, I'm always the kibide also for me was ah, a very different. Uh, I almost thing. forgot. I think yeah, the kibide was very nice. Nice. I thought the seek was a little salty, salty but the kibide had just balance, perfect right balance. balance, juiciness, and texture. Even I was very stunned with the chicken seek because chicken is a very delicate thing That's and very. Right. Fibrous protein in it, and it holds everything. But it was at the same time very soft and, and very nuanced in its flavors with that garam masala. Halke yeah, se very, tha. very, very different. Fantastic. This is a busy street. It's busy as it is, but then with the food stalls around, you gotta be literally very careful as you walk around. So if you come here after watching this video, be very careful as you walk. Be mindful of the traffic. People, of course, are nice. They're having a good time. They're enjoying all the food out here. But it's quite easy to be a bit overwhelmed by all that you see, especially if you're here for the first time. See, this is like is uh, this? they have the farsha, which is very, very common. The spring uh, roll is very common, and the, this one. So, what is this? We have chicken lakhnavi seed, chicken shahi roll, chicken baida roti, chicken roll, chicken samosa, chicken gulab khasta. So everything is chicken. Yeah, all chicken. So you're a chicken specialist. Yeah, yes. No, we are Mumbai special. Fantastic. I'm a little confused about all the things that you have. So I think we'll just try with the chai roll. This is one of the best selling. No maida and no that chane ka aata. It is pure chicken. What is this? Ye palak pata hai kya ye? Yeah, yeah. This is the palak. Palak and one chai will try. Ah, one palak and one chai wala jo hai. What is your name, ma'am? Shagurta. Wonderful. Well, they certainly seem to have a range of uh, yeah. They have a range chicken. because most of this style of frying uh, is very correlated to Bombay style, which is basically a Parsi. So, is there an influence of Mumbai into this? Yeah, yeah. influence of Mumbai in Namma Bank. No. Wonderful. What is the chutney? Kya hai isme? That is the sejwal chutney and the green chutney. Madam, we'll start with this. I think the shahi roll. The shahi roll. I think the coating is only of the chicken and the cheese is just oozing out. This is extremely tasty. Of course, the chicken is a little overwhelmed by the salty character of the processed cheese. Yeah, the cheese uh, saltiness is overtaking the chicken, I think. But, but I think it's a very interesting, very interesting thing. And also very the juicy, moist. The egg in it, especially the coating. What is this? Very typical to Bombay, and it has become very famous in Bangalore for the past eight to ten years. Especially that this with the coating, the chicken parsha. With the parsha. So it's parsha. basically inspired by a Parsi dish. The Parsi right? dish, oh. but it's also a very common dish in um, Mohammed Ali Road. I love the juiciness of that chicken, and the spicing is ever Perfect. so delicate. Yeah, I think only the the cheese is overtaking the saltiness, but I think the rest yeah. of this is very soft and moist. And I and love the I love the really lacy character of that egg. Yeah. That it's cooked in of that nest of egg. That yeah, is that that in. that is the main thing of this, and which is holding the egg is itself is holding, mm. and also it doesn't has any kind of usually in this kind of rolls they use try to use a bread or something it to hold together, but they have done it. I think yeah. it's extremely. I think with the Szechuan sauce also. Sauce thoda thika hoega. Thika hoega. The chutney also is good. There's somewhere in there. There's a distant whisper of the mint. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. They think. I think this is fantastic. This probably. Yeah. Is a delicious surprise yeah, that I'm tasting cheese. out here. It is coming out and oozing out. The whole texture of the dish itself is only made out of chicken, which is the entire coating over here. And also, what's interesting here is sometimes when you're tasting chicken, especially in a patty or in a cutlet, yeah, you're tasting a lot of the binder. Binder. But okay. out here, you're tasting it's none of that. It's not that. That's what I told. Because usually, what they do tend to do is they roll it in a filo kind of a pastry or a thin layer of uh, maida. Just to give it volume. Just to give it volume and also to make it crunchy. But this, the whole thing is the egg is the star over here, which holding everything together. Yeah. And uh, keeping it moist also at the same time. So it's a chicken and an egg. Yeah. Sort of a situation, no, but yeah. in a delicious cheesy roll. I think next let's go to this uh, palak tikka, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka is that what they call it? Shagupta. What do you say? What do you say? Chicken palak malai kabab. 
चिकन पालक मलाई कबाब आपका जो वो कबाब था बहुत अच्छा था You can see a bit of that cheese. I think the malai is about the cheese over here, and also it has a good amount of coating of sesame. Yeah. And uh, I can see the crispiness of the spinach, which is popping out. One thing is, I've noticed in the both of the things, in spite of being chicken, it's very juicy. I think you agree to that also. Very juicy, very flavorful. And to be honest, this is a surprise. Yeah. Among the six, seven things that we've tasted today, there are two things already, or three things already that we haven't tasted here in Bengaluru yet. Right. At least I haven't tasted it. Yeah, because I saw the board, and which is randomly coming because we don't have a plan over here, and we're ah. just randomly walking into, and this pulled me the slice Sultan of Mumbai, and I thought let's just venture out, and I think it was a good find. It is nice. Yeah. Also, I think in this uh, because of the spinach and also the peel, there's a sesame seed. There's yeah, a bit of bitterness that bitterness you're tasting in also, that. Yeah, a bit of that both, naughty bitterness. Both are bitter. Palak also, in one term, mm. when you fry it, and the till is bitter by nature. But Wonderful. I think that it's complementing each other with the cheese coming in and mellowing down all the flavors together. Very good. I think if you happen to come here, definitely visit Sultan of Mumbai and try that special. शाही रोल शाही रोल एंड द पालक चिकन मलाई करेक्ट लेकिन एक टेस्ट करना है तो एक टेस्ट करना है तो आई वुड गो द शाही रोल सेम ही है फैंटास्टिक थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू आई लव द चैनल थैंक यू प्लेजर टू मीट यू यार लाइकवाइज माय हैंड्स आर सॉइल इट्स ओके इट्स आल्सो सो व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू टेस्ट नाउ Now what we'll do is just we'll walk through. I think that was a good find. What we found, Shahi roll took the cake. Yeah, that really stole my heart. I'm still <laughs> thinking about it. I've left flavors of Mumbai about 200 meters behind, at least 100 meters behind, but I'm still carrying it with me as a tasty burden of our short time there. Oh my, mutton chicken, mutton, mutton, pasar. मटन चॉप से मटन चॉप से इधर ये क्या है ये चिकन है ये वो मटन है मटन ये वाला है मटन है हाँ शुभी ट्राई सब मटन विल ट्राई मटन एक मटन दो एक मटन दो सो दिस इज़ द वन ऑफ़ द स्पेशलिटीज़ This is caught up in Bangalore since past eight to ten years only. Okay? Everybody is doing a patthar. There is a patthar. This is basically it granite. is a kadpa granite. Okay, Correct. kadpa granite, but the rough granite. Rough granite, but technically it should be done on a porous sandstone. That is the technicality of a patthar kebab because it is, as it is porous, it takes in all the this one and done. Usually it is done on red sandstone. And you see the fire is we are on a very high fire. It has been cooking. तो आपका शॉप है रेस्टोरेंट है क्या है हम लोग काम करते हैं इन रेस्टोरेंट पे काम करते हैं अच्छा तो यहाँ पे रमजान के टाइम आके लगाते हो सी लव अटू सो मुंबई आई थिंक टेक्निकली शी इज कम फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड सेटिंग अप a lot of people come here and put up stalls only come for this purpose of setting up a stall for and packing up 30 up days and then they go and they go fantastic anyway on that note we should taste some of the okay this is a single stick kadi they say also say the kadi ki thal i think the quality of the meat is very good, very good. but i feel that the masala is overwhelming is overwhelming yeah that's what i feel and even the smokiness is not too at that far but it is Only thing is the meat is perfectly cooked. Yeah, the meat is moist and juicy, but it's a little over part. And I think also in this one, the masala is a little overtaking the entire okay. flavor of the meat. You can taste the coriander. You yeah, can taste a bit of the. And also, I think they've used mustard oil in the marination. Yes, I mean, how is it? Good, yeah, good. Yeah, meat quality is good. Mustard oil used करते हैं उसमें. Mustard oil, पूरा हमारा नीड एंड क्लीन. Oh. पूरा fresh देते हैं. हर हर दिन fresh fresh देते हैं. इसमें मसाला क्या क्या use किया? इसमें मसाला normally हमारा मतलब कड़ है. जीरा मसाला गरम मसाला धनिया पाउडर धनिया पाउडर धनिया पाउडर धनिया पाउडर काफी है हां धनिया पाउडर क्योंकि इसका टेस्ट और बढ़ा रहा है सो आई थिंक व्हाट हैपेंस इन अ लॉट ऑफ दीस प्लेसेस दे फील समहाउ दैट दे हैव टू लेट दैट मसाला शाइन लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आउट हियर दैट मीट वाज टेंडर जूसी जूसी वाज जस्ट परफेक्ट परफेक्ट आई थिंक ओवरवेलमिंग मसाला पुट बॉट दैट डाउन अ बिट टू मच Happy eating.
What fish do you use? Sir, hamur. Only Arabian fish. Well, the lights have dimmed. <laughs> Time to go home, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know what this stall is called. I think Nadeem it's called Caterers. Nadeem Caterers. Nadeem Caterers. So you are a catering karte ho? Yeah. How, so how long? Yeah, we are doing since 7 years. 7 years? So what is this? Chicken? Yes, Banarasi chicken. Banarasi chicken? Yes. Banarasi, I think you get pan. Chicken also comes from Banarasi. Yes, sir. Do you get chicken in Varanasi? Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Anmitha. Anmitha. That's a very nice name. Very pretty name. It's as pretty as you are. Yes, we put some masala on it. Yes, masala. Nice and crisp on the outside. The texture of the fish is very much like a basa, no? Yeah, it's quite bit uh, similar, similar to, to basa. Hamur. What do you call this dish? Crispy via fish. Crispy fish. Nice. And this is the fish by itself is quite bland. Only the crumbs and the masala yeah, is adding a lot of flavor to it. I think the crumb adds volume because the fish is also very thin, thin and it's very nice. watery. watery. And so there is no very flavor soft in that fish. fish. And only the, as you said, the crumbs and the masala is adding a lot of flavor to it. I think when you come for a Ramzan walk, you will find some places where they are doing some very interesting dishes. Yeah, right? see. Like the marak that we tasted. Most of all, you will see probably 80% of the entire street food is very, very common. You have patar ka gosh, which is common. And you have the fried kebabs and the shash flakes and the fried fish, which is very, very common. It's more about the uniqueness is probably about, in probably about 8, 9 things. We That's find. right. That's like it. for example, so today we've tasted at least about 10 things so 10 far. 10 things so far and probably would have found one, 3, 4 things. Which there are 3 were things that really bit. touched me. One was the halim, one was the marak, marak. and the shahi. Shahi roll. The shahi roll. roll. I think that was very interesting as well. I mean, so all this, the food's tasty, of course, and it's a, but it's a sort of, yeah, it food is. that lends to the atmosphere. So, you are coming here and you can hear the Azan in the mosque. mosque. There is this whole uh, people vibe. vibe of festivity. right? So, people are basically having a good time. And I think it is a sort of food that lends itself to that sort of a situation. So, also what happens is basically it is also a platform for other people from other community to taste the food. So, people look out for Ramzan for because they, they can uh, taste so many delicacies and all that. That's right. And I think what happens is I think festivals are opportunities yes, where you can actually delve into recipes that are otherwise yes. cloistered, cloistered in and homes, homes and communities. And so, that's what so that's when these recipes come, come out, out onto the street in a situation like these and you have the opportunity to savor that. That's a very valid point. Sir, how much time Sir, no sir. No, no, no. No, you have no, 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 I, that's fine, but I still have to pay for it. So please take the money. How much is a, is a, 150. Yeah, so please take 150. I think we will taste some of the chops, looks very good. Or uh, seek ek salya lagana. And this seek is hiding beneath that, uh, what do you call it, semaya? Semaya. This stall is very famous for this mutton anda roti. Yes. Anda roti is a very common and it is probably one of the oldest which came into the market. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!